Are we like leveling up? Like in making the money that we should be making in that industry? Mm. Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you, so I let you begin to read me, and then you know. Because I, I hate, hate when one says to analyze back outside those who you try. I know, I'm telling y'all, I was so shocked, like, what? I was in there. I think we are all rooted in the same thing, and that's the best interest of one another. And exactly. period. Yo, what's up, y'all? Another episode, Beast Bars and Bourbon, the Bourbon Boys. Been a minute, but we back. We back, baby. Podcast <laughs> ass. As my man would say, the illustrious, the illustrious Beast Bars and Bourbon. Yes, sir. And it's a pleasure for me. I got to say this. It's, this is a personal one because the guests that we have today uh, is like family, right? Absolutely. I mean, we're talking about two ladies that have been friends for 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, the owners and operators and entrepreneurs behind basics and statements since 2021. Mm -hmm. And we're all high school classmates. Correct. The three of us. Yeah. Don't shit. We yeah. actually went to high school together. Yep. Wow. This is Stacy and this is Sam of Basics and Statements, ladies. Let's give it up for the ladies real quick, man. Let's thank give it up for the thank ladies. You. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. We are at, yeah. we are at the, I mean, at this. I think the phrase that I best, spice that I like sweet. the most is dream incubator. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. The Spice Suite here spice in the suite. off of Channing Street, Northeast. Yep. Um, man, what a dope spot. Super so, fly. Dope and it's triple black. Yeah. Black, black, black. Triple black. The toilet black. So we're going we to get into this. But first, oh, say so you mind passing me that bottle right there before we jump of into course, my this. Brother. Ladies, I, I just got to say this much. So because um, it's Women's History Month, you are officially the first lady guest of Beach Bars and Bourbon. Right. Yeah, man. Yes. Come on, man. That's so another yeah. one, man. We appreciate That's it. another yeah. one, man. It's only right That's big. That That's big. What we actually enjoy with when in terms of um, spirit of choice, it's uh, District Made. Mm -hmm. This is our un this is the untitled whiskey that's made by District Made. For those that don't know, District Made officially is closing their doors March 31st. So, I mean, you know, it's it ain't even bittersweet. I'm fucked up about it. I love... The mm. district oh, family. Man. Alex, 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 you love Alex, you, man. man. That's my For guy. Sure. These, they make amazing whiskey. I'm talking grain to glass. That's that's one of the reasons why I love them so much is because of the care they put into every pour and right. every barrel. Right, right. Um, this particular bottle uh, version is the number 12 Untitled Whiskey. Untitled. It's the first batch of the Untitled Whiskey, number 12, and this was the last bottle that they had. So it only felt right that we share this love with y'all ladies. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. For sure. For so sure. hopefully you, you guys enjoy the whiskey. How, how does it taste? How y'all feel in it? How y'all feel it? It's it, great. It is excellent. It doesn't have any uh, aftertaste or it anything. Doesn't. So mm. it's nice. Mm -hmm. So should we do a quick toast? Oh, say so you got what you need to pour well, real quick? Yeah, because I don't... A little bit. A little bit. Oh, you need a little bit. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's, it's really a I would say I need a little like, bit more, but I ain't going to turn up like that. Vanilla you guys, it. It's really good. You can taste the hints no, of good. No, That's no, what I get so much anyway. That's good. Uh -oh. He got the, the corner pores. You thank see you. I, the heavy yeah. corner boy pores. Hey, look, the, look, the women are <laughs> like, oh, thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you basically thank you. mean slow down, Negro. Slow down. I feel that. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. There we go. And it's cubby cup. There it is. You already know. Cubs, baby. Those that know, know. Okay. So let's do this toast real quick. Mm. Um, Sam, you want to do the toast? Sure. Let's do it. All Ladies right. first, let's do it. All right. To friendship, mm -hmm. to yep. love, to life and prosperity. Cheers. 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 Oh, so because y'all love y'all friends like we love our friends. <laughs> of Beats, Bars, and Bourbon. But not the last. But not, not the last. Not the last. Not the not the last. last. Thank you. Honor, okay. Honored to be here. Glad to have y'all. And, and, and speaking of having y'all, listen... I mean, talk to us about what y'all got on, man. This is to me. I'm always enamored by me and you both, brother. Oh. You know what I mean? Like, like, what what are we doing here, ladies? What are we doing here? Today, huh? you know the I, okay. So the story is this is you it. every day. This is how you it is. This is not me every day. Yes, Let me tell it is. I'm, not, I'm one of those people. I don't do in between. I'm either like looking homeless, looking or... homeless, or I'm looking completely amazing. So but that's a but that's a look now. <laughs> That's a fly look now. Homeless. The homeless? That, yeah. Well, no, all that Yeezy the shit, you look homeless, but you fly still. Homeless, right. I'm about to say something that's going to get me in trouble, but I told you. All right. The, the youngest, right. though. The youngest do drugs. Derelict, <laughs> derelict chic. They do. Derelict chic. Derelict chic. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Homeless classy. <laughs> I told the kids, like, y'all really oh, look, listen, the owning crocs, this the look. The pajamas, the oversized hoodie. They look a mess. I'm good. That's the look. They do. I can't with it. And, and I, listen, I give them a pass to some degree because there was an article that I read and it talked about how the oversized hoodie, the pajamas, was the equivalent of the... Um, the security what, blanket? Yes. Yes. I, yes. Read that. I didn't read that article. Yes. Mm. Coming out of something. Coming out of I mean, COVID. listen, we talk a lot of shit about, oh, we were little, we used to drink water out the faucet. And, we did. Uh, uh, we did. You put dirt on your, 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 your injury. Yeah, but then yeah, we didn't pandemic. fucking come to a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. isolated we in the room. From a room. Life oh, changing that no makes so much That's yeah. true. Well, I don't feel bad. I'm staying. <laughs> Ten toes. Down. I, I really don't have a problem with the hoodies, but it's like the, um, I don't know. It's just. Oversaturated. It's just like the hoodies on and fucking ninety five degrees. Mm -hmm. Lack of care, and I don't Mm -hmm. think that that's good for like mental health. Yeah, people Mm. don't. People underestimate how important how you look affects your mentality. So I I do worry about the kids. So like, what was? Is it an inside out thing or is it an outside in? Like, what's really going on with them? What was Carl Lagerfeld's statement? Um, I think he said, uh, once you put sweats on, you like have given up a life. That was the Carl. Damn, that was his quote. He did. Yeah. Once you worn sweats, let me ask you this. I feel like we're about Crocs. I'm sorry. Speaking of that, it's crazy because this is one of my later questions. I was going to ask. But when is fashion art versus like somebody who's just wearing clothes mm-hmm. and then you you view somebody as, oh, damn, that fashion is fucking art. Oh, do you want to respond to this? Oh, I'll let you. I- okay. How I, because you could, okay, you have to have an eye for composition. You know, mm-hmm. so you know when someone just threw something on because it does it has no rhyme or reason to it. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when it becomes art is when you can look at this look and you see the intention behind they put this with this because of that. It's, it's, it's almost like, just like when you're at the museum and you walk up on a piece of art, you, you stand there and you study it and you see, you know, you try to understand what the intention behind it. And, and fashion is like that. Wearable art is like mm-hmm. that because when you look at it, Wearable you can see art. where, yeah. oh, this was very strategic. They didn't they didn't throw this on. They, they mm, thought about right. what they did here. And Stacey, you want to elaborate on I that? I do. Oh. Fashion is... Fashion itself is a medium. You use clothing as your medium of art. Mm-hmm. So you're an artist, but you paint your body with clothes. Mm-hmm. So that's exactly what she's saying. Like you, you think about, okay, she's got on this pattern and that pattern. It's a little brown here. It's a little brown here. The green from the boots is going into this. Mm-hmm. The brown from this part. Like it just, mm-hmm. it and all the red comes together Canvas. for Canvas. a reason. And, and then it's very also the very juxtaposition, right. making sure your your sizes are specific. Like yeah. I've got on baggy, um, pretty much baggy leather pants, but I have on a bustier that's fitted. And then now the jacket Bustiatus. can be a little bit yeah. loose, yeah. but it, yeah. it makes the perfect shapes. Mm. So we're doing colors, we're doing shapes, like just to give Scale. you scales. Mm-hmm. Right. You, so, right. You are. right. So, so first Absolutely. off, we jumped into fashion. Hard. Why are we talking about fashion? Oh, well. Okay, well, we, and we are the proud owners of Basics and Statements, it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is um, essentially what it is, is we <clears> sell <throat> basic wardrobe essentials and vintage statement pieces. Mm-hmm. So, and it's our recipe for like a perfectly curated closet. Like you have to have mm-hmm. those basics pieces in your closet and then you have to throw in that little razzle dazzle with yeah. the statement, statement pieces to set yeah. you apart. From where's, this, where's this located? We're online, um, www.basicsandstatements.com, and then we pop up at the Spice Suite every fourth Saturday. So we'll be here this Saturday. Yep. I don't know when this is airing, but we'll be here um, on the 23rd from 12 to 6. Yep. Mm-hmm. Love that. Love mm-hmm. that. And then, and then like, like, so the, the I, I feel like that's the model now. Like, you got to have some in-person energy, mm-hmm. but then the online piece is so predominant now. Like. Yes. What do y'all think about that, like the mall or like street shopping versus the online thing right now? I have never liked the mall. Mm-hmm. I have never liked the mall. Okay. Um, it got to the point where, okay, back in the early 2000s, where you shopped at BB and BCBG, mm-hmm. and then you would go to the club and everybody would have your stuff on. Wow. Like, yes. I don't even care yeah. if it's you got on something different but the same pattern and it's clearly BCBG. Yeah. I can't stand looking really. like anybody else. Yeah. So, you know, man. doing boutiques now, listen, with this whole uh, Facebook and IG 
stores and fashion over and stuff, that's what they've gotten back to too. Right. But yeah. when you have Basically boutiques, online malls. Yeah, yes. that's all yeah. it is. But yeah. when you have boutiques and you have vintage stores and stuff, it gives mm-hmm. you an individualism that you don't get yeah. in a cookie cutter mall. I mm-hmm. hate cookie cutter shit. Mm-hmm. I just, I, it's no, never I, I, sat I well with me. I mean, I feel that. I feel that. There's, like. there's an experience. I mean, listen, that's what trends are, mm-hmm. right? And you can tell people to follow trends because They'll wear something because someone else it's said it was board, cool. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's designer. Yes. Yes. That's yes. Exactly. Exactly. It's designer. Yes. No, yeah. yes. yes. I mean, that, that's the scape. Listen, you want to avoid having to be creative fashion-wise, wear something yeah, that everybody be safe. knows is popular and that's expensive. It's yep. safe. And that's Very safe, safe. Mm-hmm. for you, right? You really want to test the boundaries, be an individual, yeah. dress the way you feel and the way you want to look, and don't give a fuck about what anybody yes. else says about it. Mm-hmm. To me, those are the true artists. Like, my daughter... She's 17 years old. And it's so funny because her and her younger sister, who's 14, they are like polar opposites fashion-wise. My 14-year-old, she's very methodical about putting things together. And she's sharp. But everything is just like... Mm. It's controlled. It's and so like... symmetrical. Like, it's yeah. like... Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, My 17-year-old mm-hmm. is coloring outside the lines she's all hazard. the time. Yeah. She's Duke. Yeah. And and if, uh, if if it goes well, she'll be she'll be, <laughs> she'll be at the fashion institute the technology. I mean, See? technology. Yeah, I think absolutely. She'll be okay. there, but she will wear shit, and I'll be like, "What the hell?" But it makes sense. But it makes Every sense. Every time we go outside, everybody's like, "What? Yeah. What?" Wow, that's that canvas. And, and, and that's all that's you that need painting. to know. Yeah. That's and, that painting. That's that canvas. They are they are polar opposites. So she's looking to, to look good, but be safe. So everybody compliments her. She's don't give a fuck if people compliment her or I not. Love that. Yeah. And that's what is, always what the one. That? Go ahead, no, go ahead, go ahead. And uh, you know, me per se, um, I'm a vintage guy. I'm stuck in the 90s, I'm stuck in the 80s. I love to bring that feel back because that was an era where everything to me was just yeah. flashy, yes. fly, yeah. like, legit. What a time. What a time. So, what a so, time. What a time. Yeah. So, in 2024, you know, I love pieces that I can only find in thrift shops, vintage shops, um, me, tra- me, yeah, me, me traveling somewhere and saying, fuck that, that's going back home with me. Yeah. And just, like, from me being that way and being that person, I get a different response Yes. From folks when I'm out. So when you were speaking about that canvas and because I'm into art, I always feel like I'm that canvas and I'm that work art. You are. Yeah. yeah. You, you show that, up every time. Every time I see you, be, I be you like, oh, hey, boy, Brad. Dude. Yeah. 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 Boy, listen, listen. This What'd you say? Are. How long did you since, say? Since this high. 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 Since Knee high to a grasshopper. My guy. Knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> shout out, shout out, shout out the ghost. My, my guy would say, you know, we wasn't born into it. We were sworn into it. Mm-hmm. And that's a slogan. That's a slogan that I go by when I'm shopping or when I'm looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the crazy thing you said about that is like some part of it, because like, like y'all said, some part is science. Just like if I go Very and look so. at the Mona Lisa, right? Mm-hmm. Like I might look at the Mona Lisa and me being a novice, I don't know why the Mona Lisa is so great, but somebody who knows it yeah. will say, ah, well, the lighting on her, the left yeah. side of her yeah. face, mm-hmm. like, and y'all can break all that shit down. And that's yes. what we do. Right. Yes, we do. But, like, certain people, like, like what he's saying, like, you're just, like, doing it. You're just doing yes. it. And it's just, like, impromptu. It's just improvised, right? It is. So where does that, the rubber meet the road with that? Like, the science and the improv, improvisation. Yeah. I think yeah, I think that this, a okay. It's a couple things. It's a couple. I said that's called a stylist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Shout out all our stylists, man. Shout out. Well, for, well, yes, because yeah, styling. That's a whole other conversation. It's, nice. um, it's a couple things for me. So, one thing we always ask ourselves, like when you after you put it on, you step back, you say, but does it look like money? But right. does it look like money? Oh yeah. Like money, to be excellent. Say it out loud. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. Say it out loud. But does it look like, like money? Say it out loud. I love it. It's crazy. It looks like money. I love it's, that. I'm sorry. It's, 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 it, it's crazy that you say that because somebody can wear some shit that damn near look homeless. They could almost look homeless. Mm-hmm. But in the same sense, like, nah, that's that fly shit. They got money. They got money. Yeah. It's magic. Yeah. 
And, so, and so, then the second part is, it's yeah. like, how does it make you feel? Like, you know when you hit that sweet spot because mm. it's an emotion that goes on mm. with it. And you're like, it's because... And Dope, and you know what I mean? See, it's mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. the Bruce Leroy effect. Yes, yes the glow. Yes, the glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Fashion is very emotional. I talk to her about this all the time. Like when people shop, they shop because they have an emotional reaction to something. Ooh. I don't buy shit. Yes, 100%. 100%. I don't buy as a fashionable 100%. person, I don't buy shit unless it gives me flutters. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When we go, damn, to source, damn, love that. When that's we a t-shirt. Source, we get the sweat. We what? find something that's crazy. We yeah. be like, yo, like yo, physically yo. sweat. Like, feel like you feel like you stealing. Like you just feel yeah, yeah, like you stole. Oh, like you stole. That's my soul. I always have like y'all feel like I stole. Oh, right, yeah. Hey, yo, hold up, hold yeah. up, though. You might have, you might have coined a motherfucking T-shirt, yo. Can, can we rewind back real quick? What did she say, Steve? Why you ask me? Flood, what you say? Flood, what? I don't buy oh. shit unless it gives me flutters. flutters. Yeah. Damn! So fashion yeah. is flutters? Is so, that, is oh, that yes. it? Flutters. It is. So, so it flutters. feels like your arms yeah. can start to you sweat. You feel it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel it. You, yeah. you know it. Yeah. You know it. Like, yeah. this the yeah. fly. Oh, this is fly. Oh. So, I'm about to kill him. About <laughs> to, everybody's about to be deceived. Hey, Steve. Best dressed. <laughs> I feel that way. Shopping and being in Soho. Lower East Manhattan every single goddamn time. I, 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 I'm a big Ooh. fan of, I mean, first and foremost, like I said, I told y'all earlier how I feel about like foreign, um, just foreign language, language, foreign experiences. I love and appreciate them all because it's new, right? Mm-hmm. There's nothing like being in an environment that's uncharted territory yeah. right. in general, right? And you can find art in those experiences more so than you can find where you always are. Right. So for me, familiarity breeds like Not mundane, like, like mundane or something. everybody yeah, else. Yeah, like yeah. When you go around, you will see them. They all yep. dress the same, look the same. Well, they're because it's safe and they, they, they're at home. I look for uncharted territory like experiences because I'm going to, I want to be inspired. Yeah. Right. So that's for me, what, what I feel for that. So that's, it's like whether we, are uh, in Baltimore mm-hmm. and I feel like you stick and stand out. I go to the Paradox and it may start out at first like what the fuck is going on? Isn't that in Baltimore? Then after a mm-hmm. while it's just like yeah, so, so yeah, for me, helps. your Soho for me is Wastelands in LA. Oh, Ooh, Wastelands, shit. wow! Shit. Wastelands in LA is like the most orgasmic secondhand shopping experience you could ever have in your it's life. Insane. Mm. What like, about what about South Street, Philadelphia? Oh, we love South Come on South now. We have many years, we love but yeah, South 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 the consignment shops we, we on South Philly Street. Period. We Ooh. are. We love so Philly, period. Wastelands but like, Wastelands oh in LA gosh. is a different beast. Yeah. So, oh, so, so we need to go to Wastelands. It's, it's like Dior. Uh, okay. Like you just you're going through, and it's just all of this stuff. Yep. Yeah. And it's one offs. Like, it is, and it's high, it's low, it's like Beaumont. It's all it's the things. Coach. It's. I mean, Dries Van Notes. Like, it's I wore the everything. Coach so when we <laughs> went to your um, Air Max party two mm-hmm. years ago, mm-hmm. I had, she found it, but it couldn't fit her. And I was like, yo, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes. But she found one for me. It was a I vintage. I yeah. oh, that she yeah, nice. it was. Yeah. So, so, so I'm glad you brought up that the finding thing. Mm-hmm. Right? Basics and statements. I would love to hear, conceptually, what's the vision behind the brand in five years from now? Where do you see it? Okay, so conceptually. The, the conceptually, all right. So we've had we've been doing vintage for over twenty years. Like we've been doing this for a long time. Hey, yo, that's time. Cool. Clap, clap that shit up for twenty like, years, I, you man. You know what? We should Fuck clap that right. shit. Yeah, yeah, twenty, 20 years. fucking yeah. years. Some people be out of business in two. Yeah. yeah. Shit. And um, so it was a couple of reasons. Um, vintage is like one off, so it's one of one, and it was, it's very size specific. So we had so many. Clients that were like fall in love with a piece, but it wasn't their size, right. and you know, um, so that was one reason we decided to like branch off into basics and statements to like expand the um, size offerings. Mm-hmm. And then we had also had clients that would say, and this was heartbreaking as fashion lovers, when people say, "I really love this, but I can't wear that," mm-hmm. you know, that is, or I hate. They would buy it and say that, or they would say no, it. They, they, would, they would really love it and it feel like they can't wear it. Why? Wow. Can't wear it because why? they felt like they didn't have the um, they couldn't carry it off, or they felt oh, like they could pull it off, right. like their, their body type, yeah, their body okay. type, okay. or any reason, or for any reason, yeah. or whatever or, reason. Okay. Or okay. okay, okay, they simply didn't have the out of the box vision, exactly. Right, so that's kind of where basics and statements right. came from because it's like it was, it was the intent is to make shopping and pulling looks together more approachable. So when you, you know, when you 
layer it on. So like, if you're just getting into this fashion thing, or even if you're a seasoned fashionista, like put on something, just put on, throw on a few basic pieces, a white tank and some distressed denim, and then throw like a sequin kimono on it. You know but they, I mean? don't, like, but like, they like, don't see it like you see it. But, but, it's, but it's, 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 it's so, so funny it's because- formula. It's a like, formula. Right, like, exactly like we, right. we, we kind of look at it like, oh, that's just like second nature, right? But you're right to the average person. Yeah. yeah. The like indecision that yes. pops in their and brain. And that's why they can't. They don't know how to shop. They don't know that they need your, your, your just regular basic wardrobe pieces. Every yeah. day, all day, quick leather pants, put that on camo. Yeah. So but Camo is, it, yeah. is a neutral. So, put that so, on. So, then put your statement on it. Or you can wear a statement and a statement. You can wear a basic and a basic. You can wear a basic and a statement. Exactly. So, it's a formula. So, so, so it's kind of simple. Love, love it. Love it. Listen, love you just said something that rung a bell, man. So it's kind of safe to say that some people just don't know how to shop. Some people can go on a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx and sift through and find shit where people's like, it's just too much. Yeah, yes. I'm yeah, tired of fucking. I'm tired and of that's, fucking looking. Yeah, yeah, and that's why they hire people. Some people yes. physically cannot do it. Yeah, like some people will pass. They don't out even know where to stores. begin, though. They what? don't know. It's, oh, some people cannot. My yeah. sister is one of them. She's like, I, I can't do it. It's too much. It's, Everybody's not an engineer. That's right. Facts. So, talk to that. So everybody's not going to be a person that could just look at a thing no. and say, even us, like we're gotta different little, when it comes to putting together looks. I can visually see something in my brain, but like I, I can, I'm gonna do this, 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 that, and the other, right. and that's gonna look tight. Yeah. Yeah. She can't see that in her mind. She nope. has that physical see it on, yeah. like, like that. Yeah. Right. Mm. So everybody's different, and everybody's not expected to be able to just no. throw on a flawless look. Yes. And I would here. think, in general, the more rare person is the person who. Just can't do that. That's that, 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 yeah, that would be odd, man. So everybody, everybody's yeah. not a creator. Everybody's not a creative. Right? But, and a lot of well, people, we try, who, we a lot of people who are creatives can do all of that. They paint, they do this, they mm -hmm. do that, they could throw on an outfit. But there are people who just aren't creative. Okay. And that's okay. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. No shame in that at oh. all. But then you, you know, come to basics and statements so we can hook you up and you look right. like you can do it. That's right. Yeah. So so great, great way to segue back because I still want to hear the answer on five years from now, what is basics and statements? That is a that is a good question. I don't, I feel like five years from now, basics and statement is your closet. Mm. Basics and statements is we supply you with all of your basics, every the white button down. Mm. the pencil skirt for ladies, mm -hmm. the trouser for men, you know, mm -hmm. like the, 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 the men's the slacks. The, shirt and the, right. and the, the, the denim shirt, shirt is basic. The trench. Mm -hmm. The trench. Mm -hmm. But you then know? we still hit you with that sequence. We still hit you with those kimonos. We the still lame. Say, the la Girl. The lame. <laughs> mm -hmm. can I, the can, bustiers. Can I, can, all of the fly stuff that makes your wardrobe elevated. Mm -hmm. Can I give a tidbit of advice? Sure for you guys, mm -hmm. and I, I would hope that this would be a mission if it's not one now. Um, make sure that you have sizes for plus size women. That's, that's yes. the whole point. Yes. Bigger, that bigger big. size that, men. That's fly them point. out too. If you fly them out, man, this is when you're over the top. Because a lot of times they don't want slot people. Oh, 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 listen, I got my old girl crush on one of my friends. She's a plus size person, but she puts that shit. Mm, mm, hey, I heard that. that. Plus size. And she knows. We like, talking about I, you now. Put Janelle, that shit on. Shout out to plus Janelle size. Henry. Shout out to plus size. Shout out to plus size. But anyway, that's the whole point of manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Because when we source vintage, it's not as easy. Yeah. But if we design it ourselves, yes. there we go. So we five, the five years right? you're designing basis and basic and, statements is the label. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and let's be clear. So we started in two thousand and three. Oh yeah, with our tiger lilies. Yeah, we went our first, from tiger yeah, lilies. Our first to instant, what the hell are tiger lilies? It was a, it was our it, first iteration. Was our first of, iteration, and it was the whole means of the business. We, oh, that's what they mean when they say twenty years in the making. Yeah, yeah, we got gotcha. into this because we wanted to design. Mm. But being the bitches that we are, design <laughs> is expensive. Like we like yes. silk. Oh, we like God. leather. <laughs> we like fur. Yeah. So to design those things, it costs a lot of money. Yeah. So we were like, oh, what are we going to do to raise this money so we could design? That's how we got into vintage yeah. because it's a low yield, a high return. Yeah, mm. yeah. The, the flip, the flip, the flip, the markup like on vintage is it's cracking, it's actually <coughs> back then. Like it's, it's, it's getting more like competitive now, and then the items are more, becoming more and more rare. But back then, yeah. in the early 2000s, what? So, so, the so, margins so, were so, insane. So, 
since you're there, mm-hmm. talk to us about fabrics, like synthetics versus organics, like. Was, there, okay. there is no competition at mm-hmm. all, and it, and it translates. So you asked the question earlier about fast fashion. Hated it. Hated it. I hate fast fashion for <laughs> a myriad of reasons, and I do recognize that it makes being fashionable and stylish accessible for a lot of people, but it is to a huge detriment. So you always have to wonder at what cost, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like you will never get away from like leather, denim, silk. Never denim. It will never. It will always be be top tier. It will always be Mm -hmm. relevant. And those are things that last. Mm -hmm. So and that's why. Yes. Because yes. it's the quality, quality of material. Yeah. Even and cotton. You know, mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. will try to say, well, oh, fast, fat, we don't want to do fur. We don't want to do leather because of animals. But then you want to clog the whole freaking planet with clothes that you throw away in two seconds. Ooh. So either way, and, and let's be clear, bad, at and least the fur. It's a impact on the environment. Yes. It's a yes. very well. bad impact. On, like, yes. right. very t- not only a bad um a bad impact on the environment, but also the labor the that labor. goes mm. into it. That mm. so little think, kids. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so let's bad talk factories, about it. Like it's right. really bad. Yeah, let's yeah. let's talk about this Child. for a second. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. you you go to said fast fashion store. You pay seven dollars mm-hmm. for an item, right? This is a fully sewn stitched item. So somebody had to like create that textile. Yes. Somebody had to cut it out. Yes. Somebody had to sew it together. Yes. It had to be packaged. Shipped, and I'm buying it for seven dollars. Right. Some, somebody mm. in that chain didn't get paid. Let's be clear. Right. Yeah. Somebody in that right. chain. That, that, and that's did, when you come to uh, human trafficking, human child exploitation. Child labor laws. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Now we get deep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a problem. You, know, you can say what you want to say about, you know, oh man, I, you know, it's so much. More. No one needs to spend all this money and buy all this. But how many it's, pairs of jeans do you need? When you, you don't buy no, less, you choose, choose well. well. Yeah. Buy less, less choose, choose well. well. Choose well. Choose well.